Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, International New Artist and Educator here and today we are in with Luis and we are going to do some gel rebalance. I already started doing it halfway through just to don't keep you bored and uh, then we will paint those cute penguins and the snowflakes. So what I'm doing is I'm going to start with the infill because this is um, just like a gel rebalance. So I'm using my e-file just to remove the old uh, color from the nails and they have been all to me colors as you can see there's some brown we have some leaves and now it's the time for a winter set so I'm just removing the old color and searching for any product imperfection so if there is any lifting I have to remove it but Louis nails are usually really Good condition she takes care of them which is a good step <laughs> so I'm just filing the color off just because we are going for those cute uh, freehand painting we are going to just reshape them a little bit and kind of keep the land so they're going a tiny bit shorter but we're going to keep the land And then one more. Now am I <laughs> you hiding your penguin? <laughs> no, we're not going to file it away, don't worry. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine filing it off now. Um, so yeah, I'm just removing the old design. And then after we do this step, we can take care of the cuticle work. So just remove that brush away the dust and then let's push back the cuticles so just push them back and then do a little bit with the e-file so I'm removing any uh, tissue which might be on the nail plate First one side. I'm working on a slightly lower speed than when I'm removing the product. So I've got the K38 in the salon. And for the product removal, I use around 16. Uh, and then um, for a cuticle work, anything from 11, 12 to 13, depending on the cuticles. Then I'm going to trim them gently. There isn't really much uh, to be removed. So just a very gentle work. Louise got a new cuticle oil and she has been applying it really regularly so her cuticles are pretty nice. I think that's the largest one we've got. And here I'm going to be careful because I can see there's a little bit of redness. So once this is removed we are going to reshape the nail and fill it out with the fresh product. She likes her nails rounded shape and I'm it's really rare I do actually rounded shape to the clients. <laughs> Most of them wear an almond shaped nails um, or um, coffin so rounded is pretty unusual shape for me to do it. So I'm just touching up the free edge 
making sure there is no shiny parts on the nail plate and then this nail is ready for the product application <laughs> same on this one so just reshape it a little bit her nails grow nice and straight so I would say they are pretty easy nails to infill so I don't have to correct the shape from underneath um, really what I'm doing is I'm just scratching the fresh nail which has grown out I'm wishing you guys like uh, lots of clients like Louise uh, where the infill is so easy to do it and they are all her natural nails uh, now so I have said too much and now I've got some lifting <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. There is a little separation of the product from the natural nail, so we need to file it away. This place, and you will be able to see it. There was some loose product here, just at the end. That's it. It is gone. I'm just blending it and making sure you don't overfile the natural nail. That's nice. It's gone. Okay. So remove the dust, dehydrate with the blue scrub, nice and squeaky clean, and then an extra nail prep, so an extra nail prep, and on this part where I had some lifting I had to put this nail prep as well, like you always have to make sure you've got it on all the places where you've got the natural nail okay so i'm have to apply it there too then i'm going to use the soft pink fiber gel so usually if i'm mm, working on the clients which are having a natural nails and uh, we don't need to use the darker colors i quite like the soft pink because it's very natural looking uh, it just gives those nice healthy hint to the mm, natural nail. My God, it looks really beautiful. Nice and thin layered through the entire nail. And then this one, actually, I'm going to fill it out straight away with another scoop of the product. So just fill that up. Louise's hands are actually freezing this one, which makes the gel more solid. Uh, so you have to kind of work it, work it out a little bit more. And then once I'm happy, we are going to give it a cure. And then same on those two nails, so nice and thin layer first. Gosh, your hands are freezing! Cold hands, warm heart. That's what they say. <laughs> Oh, guys, I will need to show you some uh, super cute uh, watch Louise has after we've filled them up. So I'm applying straight away into two nails. I don't have to worry uh, that the product is going to run from those nails because they're really cold. So nice and thin layer. And then straight away, I'm picking up a small scoop again. So here, I'm... Mm, I'm having a very little pressure like almost no pressure i really want this product to stay there and then once i've got this part i'm start um, pressing a little bit harder to smooth the product through the entire nail okay and then same here so here is going to be slightly different because we've got a light a slightly bigger gap to fill up uh, especially at the free edge so i'm just filling um, the apex area and the growth then press it harder on this side through the entire nail and then we have to add a scoop more of the product just at those empty space which we have um, filed away because there was some lifting so I'm just filling this up check the shape and then we can change the hands Okay, so time for filing. So I'm just removing the inhibition layer. Okay, so just remove those inhibition layer. And 
and then let's file it. One side nice and straight, other side with nice and straight free edge. Blend everything around the cuticle area. So we have to blend it everything really nice in there. Smooth it out a little bit from the top. And that's it actually. And then using a buffer, we are going to smooth the entire surface of the nail. So when you apply your product pretty nice, you don't have to file a lot. I quite like to use uh, this buffer to kind of work out around the cuticle area as well, like to make sure I have no uh, jumpy parts of the product. You really want it to be nicely blend in. Okay, and this nail is ready for the product application. We are going to quickly do the same in here. And then we can move on into a design part. I just didn't like this from the side view, so I had to touch it up. <laughs> Well, I'm usually like at the end when I finish the nails, I give them a final look and my, I might touch them up. Okay, same in here. So I've got a bit of bulk here, which I need to file. Blend around the cuticle area. You don't want to see where the product is starting. Just relax it, perfect. Reshape the free edge. And then buff it. So the buffer is 100 by 180, which creates quite a lot of scratches. It's a really sharp buffer. I suggest you always remove the sharp uh, parts from it, uh, just so you don't cut the client. Just relax. Thanks. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Luis is hiding the cute penguin. It's fine. We'll <laughs> clean him afterwards. It will. It 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 wouldn't get dusty. Don't worry. We will clean it nice. Okay, so again, blend that out. Her watch is uh, totally matching the design. I'm going to show you guys now once we file it. So cool. <laughs> you've got it on. Yeah, so we've got some penguin and a blue. That's it, and a blue stripe, <laughs> just to match it. Uh, I thought that was super, super cool. Our nails always last a really nice and long time, which I'm very happy for. Okay, I do a final check from the client side view and I can buff a little bit more on two nails. So it's this one, just in there. And it's this one, just in there. Just around the cuticle area, I want the 
I want this to be much smoother. Okay, let's remove any dust. Actually, I'm going to buff this one as well. That's it. I remove any dust like really properly. And then we can start doing the design part, which is a fun part. So I'm just cleaning the entire new, like making sure there is no dust. Switch this off and now on the most of the nails we are going to use this color uh, 220 and I love it like it's such a nice and beautiful um, blue and then we are going to use 173 which is tic tac white guys this is like probably just for this one nail and then I'm going to bin it because I'm fishing for it um, so excuse the struggle of the application but the bottle is just empty So I'm painting the entire nail into white. Remove the fluffy bits and pieces. And then this nail is going to be blue. And I love this blue so much. It is really highly pigmented blue. And it looks super cool even in a one coat. Okay, that's it. So here we've got two blue nails. And the next one. See, I'm trying to paint it quite nice with the first coat, just so the second coat is going to be like kind of almost half a coat. And then push it to the cuticles. What else you could do it guys is take a small brush and I'm actually going to show you that as well. Hi! Uh, so I'm going to use the detailer brush and what you could do is just the product which you've got in there you can kind of perfect it and go even closer. Change. Then the second coat of the black uh, of the white. Oh, <laughs> I've got myself stuck. So I'm just applying the second coat, and I think painting characters on the white is best uh, I mean you could choose any other color but I find it white as awesome like uh, the way you can use it at you can use the background as a part of your designs as well which definitely speeds up the work and that's the first thing and then secondly it also stands out much more as well so 
so a second layer Grab the free edge and change. Your hands are still so cold. It's really freezing today. Hmm. I'm terrible like for gloves as well. Keep losing them all the time. I need to do them like the children, you know. Uh, yeah, and then on the uh, on the band. Yeah. Totally. Okay, cut the free edge, and then the other hand needs just a couple seconds longer, and then we can swap it, and I can start showing you the free hand design. So in the meantime, we are going to on the back of the form. I'm just going to prepare the colors which we are going to need. And I will be using the color plus. So I've got some perfect change. I've got some blue. Okay, let me top coat this one. And we are going for a shiny top coat. And then some white paint on French. Yes, you can change it now. <laughs> so I'm putting uh, some pure white and I'm also putting some white into the blue and I'm mixing it because we are going to need it for our pingu. Penguin? Penguin. Penguin. Penguin, yeah. Okay, let's top coat this one. Oh, this top coat is so nice and warm compared to the gel polish which was freezing it's a morning time i was so cold in here i actually cannot wait to do mine winter nails i really cannot wait and it is a no wipe top coat Perfect change. Okay, so I will, I'm going to start painting the penguin in here. We also need some black. So for black, I'm using the foil design gel. I actually quite like this combination of um, Color Plus uh, gels with the foil design gel, which I use for black. And um, let's grab some white. And then um, the other colors and paint on French for white. Okay, so I've got some gray in here, maybe even scoop more, that's it. And then we can start painting. So I'm using the detailer brush and we are going to start the painting of the penguin with the gray because that's the easiest part. So I always suggest guys you start painting with something which is the easiest and um, imagine there is a space for a hat. So like we want the face in here and then we've got some space for a hat. So I'm picking up those black gray color. I didn't want it to do it pure black because I thought it is going to be too, too strong. So starting with the first dot, <laughs> that, that, that's always something, you know, we've, we've got the start of the dot, which is cool. And then once we do the start of the dot, you can start dragging the product on the bottom into a wee triangle. Okay, so we are going to paint a small triangle. Then after we've got the triangle, we can start outlining the part where the eyes are going to be. So you want to go nice and rounded. And then the other side. Okay. 
it's almost like a wheel of heart I would say and then start perfecting this shape so a tiny bit of color on the top and you can see it my black isn't completely mixed with the gray and that's okay I kind of want it this way And go a bit lower perfect the shape in here I don't need to go to right to the bottom because there will be a scarf which is going to covering those parts And same, I don't need to go to the top because there is going to be a hat which is going to cover it up. Okay, so on the bottom, we are going to paint the parts where the belly is going to be. Since I'm painting with the gray, I don't want to clean my brush yet. Okay, and you have to just imagine it is kind of just a similar size what the head is. So nice rounded belly. And then straight away we can measure where the eye is going to be. And I'm going to use the dotting tool and some blue. So I want those blue in there. Okay, so my nose is going to be here. And then the eye is going to be there. And you want this blue to be pretty decent. Perfect. Change your hands. <laughs> Okay, at the same time, we are going to paint some snowflake in here. It's all going on, Jane. Yeah. <laughs> it's all going on. Yeah. So I'm using the... I swapped my brush from the... Um, from the detailer brush into the D-liner brush because I, I find it as like longer lines, it is much easier. Okay, so picking up the paint. And we are starting painting the cross. So that's our first painting. Okay, once you've got the cross, then slightly smaller in between that. Perfect, change. Uh, so the snowflake is only to fill up your times, guys, so you are not bored. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then the blue. So we need some blue for the scarf. And the scarf is going to be in here, like this. So trying to paint opposite. So here we had this shape, and now here I'm going this shape. And I've got my blue, which is kind of unmixed um, properly. And I love this look. Like, I think it's kind of gives dimension. And then a darker one. And then the lighter one coming from the top. Then much lighter one on the top for a hat. And 
and again make it nice and wavy. Then pick up the darker blue. You shouldn't be mixing really your colors with the brush. This is something really wrong to do. Because <laughs> it's damaging for the brush. Okay, and then the hat, the top part. Again, make it kind of wavy. Whichever way you go is good. Just as long so it's not too straight. Okay, clean my brush. Go back into the light color because I can see it. He is missing a hat on the side of the head. That is cool. Okay, uh, then swap your hands. <laughs> Next part for the snowflake. So the white. And what I'm doing is I'm going to paint some uh, dots. So one dot on the top. One dot on the top. One dot on the top and on the top. So we're painting those dots on those um, the main cross. And then below we are painting another two dots. So each time I'm trying to show you guys slightly different types of snowflakes. And now what I want to do it is drag this one outside. Like this. So it just gives a nice finish. Clean my brush. And then we are going to drag this one inside. Okay, so our snowflakes looks pretty nice, but we have to add more detail into it. So I'm going to do two lines. And the smaller ones. And then a wee dot at the end. And this way we have created nice and pretty snowflake. And it's painted on top of the top coat. I don't want to top coat it again. I want to keep it pretty. Okay, inside. Now time for pink win again. So I'm going back to my detailer brush. And with the light blue, we are going to draw in some pompon. And this time is going to be this side. And then just make it a kind of fluffy a little bit by dragging the product. Okay, we also need to paint his pick and finish his eyes. So for a pick, I'm going to use a drop of the red. Drop of the red. And then some yellow. So clean my brush and pick up the yellow. 
Now the red, I want to keep it also separate one because we will be using it for a blush. So I'm just picking up a little bit of red mixed with the yellow and then we are going to paint the peak. Actually even drop more. Okay, so your pick has to be in between the eyes. And what you want to do is uh, paint a wee triangle. Or almost like a rhombus shape even, I would say. And then add a little volume into it. On the top, I'm trying to pick up the lighter color mixture. And now I'm going more into those um, darker orange and I'm going to do like a wee smile. It's not smile, it's the part of the peak. but you wanted it to be slightly different color now it's straight away because we've got a lot of more work to do in there as i'm going into the black and painting a dot and then on the other eye the same black dot clean my brush like really well just so it has a really nice point go into the skin or white color so you can see where your point is um, so this way it's easier to drag the product um, for you and then what you want to do is start dragging the product from black into the eyelash shape so one eyelash and then second eyelash with what you've got left you're just going around the eyes okay and then same on this one no no that's it thank you one eyelash second eyelash and what you've got left on the brush you just go around okay, you can see it I have made the mess <laughs> so what you do is you take a tiny bit of the blue scrap or a UV cleanser and just clean this line up UV cleanser, go with the UV cleanser. Blue scrap is too rough for the brush. I have added a drop of blue just to minimize those black line and to give a tiny bit of extra color inside the eye and i'm going to correct it a little bit more just with the slightly larger brush
and then give it a cook. Okay, let's finish the snowflake now. So a couple of the dots. And then using the D-liner brush, we are going to drag some into a different type of snowflake. Just the basic one. I mean, maybe even not snowflake, like a wee star. <laughs> Of course we want to give our penguin some blush on the cheeks and to be able to do the blush what I'm doing is putting a drop of the top coat on my piece of paper and then pick up the red, clean it up and with those bits and pieces which we've got like on the brush so there is almost um, no color we are going to paint some blush cheeks. And then same in here. I love those blush cheeks. So you're painting with the clear, uh, with the top coat, with just the tiniest drop of the product in there. Oh, he's getting cute. <laughs> Let's put some sparkle in his eyes. So we want to do one sparkle on the top and one in there. One on the top and one in there. I want a bit too large sparkle, so wipe it off. <laughs> I'm terrible. After painting such a beautiful blush cheek. See, that's why you want to also... The other one went much smoother, actually. Mm. <laughs> it's funny because usually it should be the opposite way. But okay, uh, I had to just wipe it off the white because it was too much of it I know I've got gloves on and I don't like to work with the gloves that's probably why Okay, cook it in. <laughs> Would you like a wee something on those two yeah. meals as well? Yeah. So we are going to paint wee something <laughs> on those other meals as well. Let's do some more snowflakes. So each time I'm trying to paint a slightly different one. And then drag it. Yeah. 
perfect change. <laughs> okay, now we are going back to this dots. That's too much again. That's it. That's a perfect size. See, because the nails we are painting on are so small, actually, they're quite short. You have to be very precise. And you wanted actually guys to see it, how I'm painting on a smaller nails. Okay, so the penguin, then let's paint the snowflake quickly here as well. They actually cute. Okay, so those wee lines. Dotting tool. And a tiny one. Perfect. So I'm just checking do I need anything else on the penguin and definitely I don't. So we are going to give it a cure so the dots can cure. And again, because I don't like to wait, I'm going just to draw something in here. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to wait too much. So one dot. And then one, two, three, four. So the dots which are outside, I'm going to drag this way. And the other dots opposite way and go behind them. I think there is so many different way of painting the snowflakes. <laughs> Change. Did the light went on? This one. Yeah, it was on. Okay, so now is the time to top coat our penguin and then do the final detail on the top of the top coat. And then a couple dots. Change. 
Okay, so this hand is completely finished. Because the paint on front gel has a tiny bit of the inhibition layer, I'm just going to remove this inhibition layer from the snails. Um, and basically clean the hands and apply the cuticle oil and this hand is finished. And on the other hand, we'll have to just add some small detail in a 3D, uh, just so the penguin is cute. So, okay, and I have your other hand. Now on the hat, I'm just going to paint a couple of the fury beads. Um, you can guys see it, I'm keeping product on my glove. Um, but even if I'm keeping it on my glove, I'm still trying to put it on my nail rather than on my skin. So this is another good tip for you. Okay, and then some smaller ones. I like those fury bits. <laughs> and then we are going to add a drop of the blue into our white. Just a small drop. And we are going to paint around the hat. I actually like the fact he's not like pure black but more of a like very dark gray I think it's looking cuter because of it <laughs> and then some lines inside the hat we was thinking do we want to sugar it and we decided we will leave sugar for a different design and then this one is going to be no sugar on top and then here I'm just painting lines. This is the quickest way to do it. So it's just paint lines in a one way and then some lines in the other way. So that's just like a knitted um, scarf. Is it scarf? Scarf, yeah. yeah. And then here, opposite way. And then we've got those cute Penguins matching Louis' watch. Oh, he's a wee cutie. <laughs> Kick him in. <laughs> okay, let me tidy up this mess and then I can show you the, the final look uh, of the both hands because uh, I'm actually pretty curious. Okay, and I have a look on both of them. So this one is not cooked yet, but we will cook it. Put them together. Yay, and that's what we have created uh, today. I hope you have guys really enjoyed watching this tutorial and sending you lots of glittery hacks. Bye! Oh.